Hi everyone. I'm a poker player. I'm a very good poker player. My name is JJ Hazan and I specialize in tournament poker. I'm here to look for an investment of £65,000, which will secure 40% of my tournament winnings for a period of one year from agreeing a deal. I plan to play 33 major tournaments throughout the year, thus minimizing the risk and increasing the chances of success. I'm building in a safeguard to this investment as well. I will guarantee that you will get 100% of the first £50,000 that I win. It's an unusual investment, but with the potential of substantial returns. I've won $547,000 in tournament winnings since November 2006. So, why am I here asking for your money? Good question, Theo. Why am I here asking for your money if I've won so much? Well. I'm a family man, so I paid off the mortgage, we bought a summer house in Sweden, and we travelled around the world for a few months. I kept just £20,000 for my poker fund, and I've made a profit of around £50,000 from that capital, showing an ROI of around 250%. I really hope you want to join me on a fun and profitable journey. Thank you very, very much for listening. Game of poker, anyone? Theo, if you could take... That spot there. Duncan, if you could go just... It's a high-risk strategy from poker player JJ Hazan. In one of the most unusual business propositions the Den has seen, he's offering 40% of his potential winnings in exchange for a £65,000 investment. Well, I know you play cash, Theo. Me? I don't play. Quite high levels. And I know you play tournaments, Duncan. Yeah. This is dead boring sitting here. We've got an ace. Theo Pafitis and keen poker player Duncan Bannatyne want to test JJ's playing skills, but the demonstration is alienating the remaining dragons. This might be really interesting for these guys, but no, no, can no, I just no, tell no, you, no, I no, haven't no, got no, a no. clue what, I want, I want to give you what is going on. Let's go, last one. I'm not going to put any more money in, because I know you've won. You know I've won. And I'm not going to try and bluff you. You know I've won. Because you'll read me like a book. You know I've won. I know you've won. I'm going to fold. <laughs> well done, Theo. You've, you've you taken all much. my money. <laughs> Game finally over and an impatient Peter Jones wants to start questioning JJ. The pitch is quite clear and simple, isn't it? Pitch is clear and simple. Gamble on you, and if you make I don't money. like the word gambles, quite seriously. I'm not a gambler, I'm a poker player, and there is a difference. I don't really know what you're doing here, to be honest. This is... It's not a business opportunity. This is a, a complete... You might call it not gambling for yeah. yourself, but you're asking me to gamble. I don't know you. I don't... Absolutely I've never fine. met you. It's yeah. a... It, there, it's, there are... There is a lot of link to being a business. I don't have the capital to do this because I... My no, but uh, I'm investing in somebody that I've never met until he walked up the stairs. You've sure. got no real tangible asset. This is not a business opportunity, to be blunt. That, that, um, that's absolutely fine. It's I not for me, so I'm going to say I'm problem. out. problem. That's, that's cool. Thank right, you. Right, JJ, could, yeah. What was with the glasses? Um... <laughs> poker. Poker player, <laughs> image... Well, that's about the level of question I'm going to be able to ask you. I don't yeah. have the slightest idea, having watched you, having you delivered a pitch, yep. having watched two people play, yep. I still don't understand. So I'm, I'm not going to learn poker Absolutely here. fine. The only thing I will say is if I was going to gamble, and I, 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 see, I see you draw a line between the two. I do. I don't. So if I was going to gamble, I probably wouldn't do it by proxy. So... You prefer I, I, to gamble you're your, never your own gonna, There is That's not fine. enough time here to get yeah. me to understand what you're talking about. That's fine. So I'm not going to waste yours or anybody else's. And for that reason, I'm out. JJ's pitch is backfiring spectacularly. Will Theo Pafitis offer any words of comfort? I've often said I don't gamble. I take calculated risks. Yep. People say I'm a gambler because I specialise in taking companies that are distressed, losing yeah. a fortune, and turning them into health again. Absolutely, yeah. And I often use the analogy that if I did what I do in business in a casino, I would probably get beaten up and thrown out. Sure. Because in business, I like to stack the cards in my favour. And I do that by doing my job properly, doing my homework, and knowing what I'm talking about. 
What you're offering me hasn't got any of those. And it's, it's completely a different. It's an out-and-out gamble. I think you're right. It is a gamble. It's a different kind of investment from the ones you normally do. But what you would have is someone who does have an edge. I have an edge in poker. I'm a very good poker player. I read well. I have a degree in psychology. I've played for 25 years. My record is very good. If I hit big in one of the tournaments that costs more to enter, I win a million pounds. Name another business that has that kind of return. JJ's now holding his own in the den. But has he done enough to sway poker buff Duncan Bannatyne? JJ, um, which tournament do you intend to win? First, second, third, fourth, fifth? Uh, in, in the business plan that I've put, I've put down that I will cash in eight out of 33 tournaments and get a return of about uh, 230,000 in total. So I've See, put down a... In that case, you don't need 65,000, do you? Because... No, but I need should, the commitment... You should, you should be up by tournament seven, I mean, you just sure. need 20,000. But the truth is, I could win the third tournament I play, in which case everyone's happy. No, one, you don't need to ever pay the full 65,000 yeah, pounds but it could be the 25th tournament. The other thing is, when I win money, you have that money in your bank account the following day. This isn't a three or five year deal where you're waiting to sell your business and earn money from that. You get the money immediately in your bank account the following day. There's not many other businesses that can offer you an immediate return. Is JJ's robust defense of his business plan countering the Dragon's objections enough to extract the £65,000 investment? Theo Pafitis has now made up his mind. Let me tell you where I am. Yeah. I go back to uh, what I said earlier. Uh, I'll take calculated risks. JJ, you've not given me an opportunity to take calculated risks. What you've done is give me an opportunity to have an out-and-out -out gamble. That doesn't work for me. I mean, I don't think I'm a gamble. I think I'm a good investment, but then I'm going to. So on that, for that reason, I'm out. Fair enough. Thank you. JJ, good pitch, good idea, very unusual. Not what I would expect to see in Dragon's Den. Right. Um, but it's not really a business investment. OK. Um, so, regrettably, JJ, I won't be investing this time, but no thank problem. you very much. Thank you but very much I'm for your out. attention. Two more Dragons out and only Duncan Bannatyne can salvage JJ's dreams of investment. JJ, I look forward to um, playing against you at a tournament someday, or even a cash game. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'd like to see how good you are. But until then, uh, I'm not going to invest in you, and so I'm out. All right, thank you, guys. Cheers. An audacious right. attempt from JJ, but it was one gamble these dragons weren't prepared to take.